All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly video predictions for next week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 7. This is for episode 11. It's called Hostiles and Calamities. And spoiler warning if you're not caught up for Walking Dead currently, which is up to the end of episode 10. So if you guys miss my review, you definitely want to check it out. It's in the channel. Uh, you click the channel name below and uh, check it out, man, because episode 10 was a really great episode. It had some stuff that we've been waiting to see for a long time and some really cool new stuff with some new feels with the Junkyard Group and Rick's fight against the super zombies, so to speak. So really cool stuff. was really impressed with the episode and really happy with it because those are, those are the kind of episodes we really like to see you know that's where it's at um so for this one episode 11 looks like it'll probably be an okay episode this one it looks like it's going to focus uh instead of rick and the main group or the kingdom hilltop it looks like this one's going to be mostly at the sanctuary so heads up for that one um you know how will it be in terms of an episode well i'll enjoy it a lot because i always love to see negan as well too and you know he's a bad guy of course but he's kind of uh you know he's charismatic in his own way and he's really funny in his own way so i'm excited to see what this episode has uh, put the links in the description to the current sneak peek uh, as posted by uh, amc and the next on which is like um a promo for it so a promo video for it so you guys can click both of those in the description and check them out from amc if you haven't seen them yet uh the description for this episode reads so hostiles and calamities an alexandrian discovers they must navigate the mysterious confusing and terrifying world within the savior's compound and so now we know who that is as a lot of us thought it might be uh is eugene of course because he was taken in the mid-season finale and now we're going to actually see kind of the savior side of things and they're going to get caught up so to speak in terms of uh, time sync um, because we do know that Negan had already kind of found out that Fat Joey was dead he had radioed it out and we saw we heard that on the radio we were seeing the uh, Walker highway scene um, with Rick and the others killing all these zombies there with the uh, uh, the cars uh, Rick and Michonne there so uh, we heard that on the radio we know that he knows about Fat Joey's death but now it looks like we're going to get to go back you know a step after this uh, episode 10 and sort of part of episode 9 to see what's been happening with them since then since we've uh, been following the uh, the other groups uh, and we don't know what's happening with the bad guys the, uh, the saviors so to speak uh, so very cool so um Sounds like a lot of the episode is going to be Eugene kind of just being afraid. We can see some stuff in the promo. Let's go over the promo first. So we've got Eugene. He arrives at Alexandria, or sorry, at the uh, sanctuary. Um, after everything, who are you, Dwight? Um, and so we've got Dwight there. We've got uh, Negan questioning him. And then we've got uh, Negan saying he's emotional. So I don't know if he's talking about Eugene. He certainly looks scared. Uh, we've got one where uh, the iron is being heated up by Dwight, it looks like. And you've got Lucille who's being pointed up at uh, Eugene. So is Negan going to iron Eugene? Um, <laughs> not sure. I don't know if he's going to need to. Uh, if he tries to, I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to be PP Pants City for sure. Um, so we'll see if it's him or if it's somebody else, something else going on. I mean, it sure looks like from the promo that he's going to, uh, you know, uh, give Eugene the iron and burn half his face like he did to Dwight. But I almost want to say I don't think he will. That'd be a cool direction for, for them to go in the TV series. Um, but I just I just don't know. I, I, I feel like probably not. I don't know if they'd remix it that much to have him burn uh, Eugene's face like that uh, because also he does need Eugene to produce the bullets and do stuff like that and if he punishes him too much it's almost like he doesn't need to because Eugene is more cowardly. I feel like Negan doesn't have to do the the iron thing in the face, so maybe it's for somebody else. We'll see. We'll see what it is and and what's going on with that. Uh, that would be kind of a twist if he did in fact uh, give Eugene the iron. So maybe something we can talk about for uh, a Q and A this week more in de in depth and detail. You guys can write your comments below as well too if you think it's for Eugene or if it's for somebody else. I think it's for somebody else so far. So we'll see. So Dwight's heating up the iron. Uh, Eugene uh, Negan points to. Eugene and someone's getting beaten up in one of the rooms so I can't tell who it is 100% I don't think it's Dwight because 
We see him, he's going through a room and he's throwing some stuff around, he's getting really frustrated, and obviously he's terrified because not only is Fat Joey dead, but Daryl has 100% escaped, he's gone. Understand something, we'll find him. And then we've got uh, Dwight who uh, leaves on the motorcycle who uh, it appears that he's going after uh, Daryl, probably. And we can see him going up to one house and kind of like walking slowly, uh, maybe trying to track or or find where uh, Daryl is. Um, really good stuff. So really nice setup. I'm really looking forward to maybe a confrontation between Dwight and Daryl. And uh, I hope, I really hope, and I've said this for years now, I hope Daryl kills Dwight. I hope they go as simple as this. They decide that, you know what, let's just have Daryl kill Dwight in this season. That would be wicked cool to see. Get his revenge on Dwight for what happened in the first half. That would be a huge death that they could use for a finale death or something. So I'm hoping that's where they're going with it. It probably isn't where they're going with it, but I would really like to see that myself uh, with this current setup of Dwight leaving and Daryl you know, being being out there on his own too, because he of course left the kingdom, so he's kind of looks like he's on track, maybe back to the uh, the hilltop. Uh, but it'd just be really cool to see Daryl if he got his revenge on Dwight and got his stuff back. I just don't think he will. We'll see. Uh, again, you can write your comments below, guys, because we're getting closer to what it seems like to maybe a setup for that. Uh, we've got the Daryl is missing sneak peek, which is um, you see Fat Joey's corpse, you see the sandwich, which is <laughs> funny, uh, and then he, Dwight sees he kind of goes up and then he runs through and he finds. Out that Daryl is uh, is gone 100%. Really cool stuff. So we still don't have official confirmation. When I say official confirmation, I mean we don't have someone in the series, like uh, Gabriel said for us, exposition in this episode, episode 10, that what happened with him and him bringing all the supplies out. He wasn't doing it of his own accord. Um, you know, it was actually uh, the other group kind of attacking, forcing him to do that. So we haven't heard 100% for sure confirmed in the series who it was that freed Daryl. We still don't know. Uh, was it Eugene who helped Daryl escape? Uh, it certainly wasn't Dwight. This is this promo is kind of uh, confirmation, I want to say, that it was not Dwight that allowed uh, Daryl to escape because Dwight is surprised to see him gone. Uh, they wouldn't show us that sequence if Dwight had been the one to free him. So at least we know from this sneak peek it was not Dwight who let him go. So that leaves basically two characters, I'd say. Jesus is one option and Sherry is the other. I think a lot of people right now, from what I've seen, in Q&A's the last couple of months, most people think Sherry freed Daryl. Most people think it was Sherry. Um, there's still a good number of people that uh, think it was uh, Jesus, but a lot of people think it was Sherry that actually freed him or gave him the key and everything and let him go. So uh, we'll see how it all shakes down. I'm excited to see who it actually was, uh, Jesus or Sherry. I guess it doesn't matter too much at this point because he's out. So either way, he's gone and uh, you have uh, Dwight who's going to go after him and uh, Negan tells Dwight that they will find him. They will catch him. Um, Good stuff because, and it's got to be a flashback episode too, a little bit because we had Simon who was went to Alexandria, you know, two episodes ago up until this episode eleven, episode nine. Um, so Simon had already gone there uh, to see if Daryl was there, and he wasn't there. So we must be seeing kind of the events that took place, you know, in the mid-season finale now, you know, and, and we're going to get caught up from the savior side and where they're at in terms of the story. So it looks like it should be a pretty good episode. Uh, the stuff with Eugene at the uh, the sanctuary should be okay. I'm kind of expecting for it to be like, oh, okay, you know, it's, it's fun, whatever. Uh, kind of silly fun stuff. Maybe him, you know, having some fun with some of the girls there and stuff, uh, doing some science tricks and stuff. We've seen in the uh, the promo trailer where he's lighting up, I think, helium balloons and stuff, uh, lighting them on fire and stuff and playing some tricks. So hostiles and calamities. So looking forward most at this point, actually, to seeing a confrontation between Dwight and Daryl. Really hoping we do see that. And I hope this time, if Daryl gets the opportunity, he does actually finish the job. He does kill Dwight. I'm hoping. So we'll see. I don't think it's going to happen, but that's what I want to see. Write your comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see and uh, what you think is going to happen next week's episode. Also, how you think it's going to be, if it's going to be a good episode, I think it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be okay, like kind of a regular, you know, kind of uh, episode. It should be pretty good, but uh, I'm not expecting fireworks or anything. It should be just decent. Check out the uh, previews below, guys, and check out the review if you missed it. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share. You can favorite. If you're new and you want to subscribe, click the subscribe button at the bottom left. Click the bell to turn on notifications. And that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you again soon for a Q&A. Real soon, write your Q&A questions below too. Uh, and we'll get those rolling. I'll either have one posted for you guys in an hour to two hours tonight or maybe tomorrow on Monday. Either way, um, you know, hope you guys enjoyed the episode tonight and I uh, can't wait to see uh, the next one as, as always. Always excited to see you next episode of Walking Dead. That's it for this one, guys. See you again soon. Trav, same piece. Later, guys. See you soon.